Welcome to Bikini Bottom, a normally peaceful undersea sanctuary. Today it will be transformed into a theater of pure horror, wherein our little yellow friend will play the starring role. Today is the big day. I have devised an ingenious plan to finally steal the Krabby Patty formula. And if Bikini Bottom happens to get demolished in the process, oh well. <laughs> With my brand new Duplicatotron 3000, I'll clone an army of robots that will wreak mayhem and destruction at my command. One last review of the checklist. Let's see. Item number one is Plankton a genius? Answer yes! Okay, checklist complete. Throw in the switch! <laughs> Welcome, my perfectly obedient robot army! Hang on! I want to get a photo for my scrap. Oh, hey, hello! What do you think you're doing? Oh no, 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 wait! Wait! But I'm your master! I made you! No! No! Oh, my good China! Another perfect day playing robots and racehorses. Yeah, only I keep getting the racehorses and the robots mixed up. Wouldn't it be great if we had real robots to play with, Patrick? I'd name mine Robo Jr. or Zorlon or maybe Frankie. Yeah, these unreal robots are getting boring. Hey, what if we put the robots in here? Oh, how shellfish of you. <laughs> it's not just any shell. It's my magic wishing shell. Wow, that's great, Patrick. So we put the toy robots in here. Okay. Then we say the magic wishing words and shake the magic wishing shell. Okay. Then we go to sleep, and in the morning, we'll have real robots to play with. But Patrick, aren't we going to say the magic wishing words? You already did. So okay is the magic wishing word? It used to be Alakazama Alabala Wisna Tikitana Fushbar Griddle Bits Von Wiedeschnauzer, but I kept forgetting it. Are you sure this will work? Sure. Last week, I only had one big cookie crumb and I was really hungry. So I put my cookie crumb in the magic wishing shell, then I said the magic wishing word and shook it, and in the morning, I had lots of little cookie crumbs. Patrick, I proclaim that tomorrow is going to be the best day ever. Good night, SpongeBob. Good night, Patrick. The next morning. <laughs> gonna play with robots, gonna play with robots, gonna play with robots, gonna play with. Wow! Uh, Gary, did you do that? Yeah, Gary. It sure looks like we're in a doozy of a pickle. I think I'm gonna have to learn a lot in order to fix this mess. No. What a fantastic idea! These signs will provide important tips to help me out. Um, how do I read the signs? No. Oh, okay. Press this button to read the signs. No. So if I want to come back and talk to you again, just walk up to you and press this button. I'd better get started now, Gary. I think that this is going to be a very long day. I make myself a snack, but there's no time! I make myself a snack, but there's no time! This is where I keep all my old comic books. I love 
of opening presents. It shines! This is where I keep all my old comic books! Nothing like the sounds of your own neighborhood. Go away, SpongeBob. You're polluting my thinking space. Trying to steal the Krabby Patty formula again, eh, Plankton? Well, you won't get away with it. I've got bigger fish to fry. I've got to figure out how to regain control of the chum bucket from those robots. Where did they come from? Where? Um, I don't know. Not for me, though, that's for sure. They just showed up out of nowhere and started calling me rude names and throwing things. <laughs> they even bent all my spoons. I love those spoons like they were my children. That's terrible. Oh, won't you help me stop them? Before they bend all my forks? Not the forks! Of course I'll help. But wait, I'm supposed to collect a whole lot of golden spatulas. Golden spatulas, eh? SpongeBob, if you can get me back into the chum bucket, I'll give you a bucket full of golden spatulas in your dreams. You've got a deal. Hey, SpongeBob, I just dropped by to give you a bubble hand. Bubble buddy. You see, you're going to need to learn some new bubble blowing moves if you're going to journey to the ninth dimension and defeat the giant monkey man. But uh, all I need to do is figure out how to get rid of these robots. Oh, yeah, sorry. I've been in the soap bottle a little too long. Uh, where were we? Uh, something about new bubble moves. Right! Press this button and you'll launch yourself straight up in the air with bubble power that defeats anything that is directly above you. Try it out! Stupid robots ruined a perfectly relaxing mud bath this morning, and now you show up. Can my day get any more dreary? I am so sorry, Squidward. Patrick and I were just playing a game and... Oh, I correct myself. I should have known that whole robot problem involved both of you. Squidward, I don't know what to do. How can I fix everything? Why don't you move to another town? That should help out more than enough. <laughs> Move to another town. I, I cracked me up. <laughs> but seriously, just jump around like an idiot. That should at least make me smile. I didn't know Squidward had a lamp. It shines. I didn't know Squidward had a lamp. 
Dorothy Squidward, I knew that you could help me out. You're the best. Don't touch me. Hazard will be glad to have this back. I love opening presents. Hey, Patrick. Nice sock. What sock? The one you're standing on. Oh, that one. It's lost. Well, if that one's lost, where are your other socks? Oh, they're more lost. A bunch of robots came through here and stole my whole sock collection. I could use some help getting them back. Sure thing, Patrick. What are best friends for? Okay, then. For every ten socks you bring back to me, I'll give you a golden turkey baster. You mean spatula? Bless you. Hey, you. Patrick needs to do laundry. Living under a rock. Now that's the life. Another find for Patrick! Rolling green hills of jellyfish fields, a place to experience nature at its most raw, and sometimes a bit tender from the stings. Squidward, are you okay? No, I'm not okay, you barnacle head. Do I look like I'm okay? Well, your nose does look pretty big. I mean, bigger than usual because it's usually pretty big. And you look clammy. And oh my gosh, you're bald! I've always been bald, but now I'm stung all over. Well, according to the Jellyfisher Field Manual, severe jellyfish stings can be treated effectively by applying a thick layer of King Jellyfish Jelly to the affected areas. <laughs> King j j jellyfish Well, I guess you're off to scale Spork Mountain and die a horrible death under the vicious tentacles of King Jellyfish. <laughs> I'll stay here, balled up here in excruciating pain. You do that! Don't worry, Squidward! I'll bring back that King Jellyfish jelly for you to rub all over yourself. Jellyfish today, I'm going fishing for robots! I feel like a new sponge! You've just met the Sponginator! Fresh like a spring breeze! I love opening presents. Mm-hmm. 
Patrick will be glad to have this back. Pushing a simple button is the most satisfying. Push, 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 push. Hey, you! Patrick needs to do laundry. Gary, what's shaking? Meow. Meow. Wow, a bungee jump for a golden spatula. I must be in heaven. The experience!
feel like a new sponge. Patrick will be glad to have this back. is the most satisfying. Push, 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 push. Ah! Wow! Mermaid Man! I have all your comics and toys and mail! Hey, huh? W what Oh, yeah, it's that sponge kid! And now, what was I supposed to tell you? That Patrick is surrounded by robots and needs my help! Huh? Oh, no. I think it had something to do with massaging my feet. Well, if massaging your feet will save Patrick, then massage I must! Help! They're making me hit myself! Massaging your feet isn't working. I think I'd better try a more direct approach. By clipping my toenails? Here I come, Patrick! Too pretty. Can't take it! Hey, you! Patrick needs to do laundry. That was a ton of fun! I should do it again sometime! Another find for Patrick! I love opening presents! You've just met the Sponginator. like a spring breeze. Hey, 
Hey, SpongeBob. Whew. Thank goodness you're safe, Patrick. Well, of course, SpongeBob. Why wouldn't I be? Well, the robots and the... Oh, yeah, I found this for you. I don't know what it is, but it looks important. Thanks, Patrick. I tell you what, all that running around has left me pooped. Why don't you continue on for a bit? Okay. Oh, boy, oh, boy, oh, boy. Present and everyone! So shiny! Barnacle head, watch where you're going. The rock is talking to me. Oh, mighty rock, I am at your command. Down here, you big pink lummox. Oh, hi there, Mr. Plankton. Are you going to vaporize me today? So very tempting. Unfortunately, I found myself in the undesirable position of having to assist you. I was in an undesirable position yesterday, and now my neck hurts. Heed my words, my large future minion. Go into Jellyfish Cave. Follow the instructions on the signs that you see. At the end of the caves, you'll still be a big pink idiot, but you'll know enough to help defeat the robots and get me back into the chum bucket. Well, then will you vaporize me? I might spare your life so I can force you to work in my sweatshop, making low-quality design and knockoff wallets. Oh, thank you.
another one! Carry a lot of stuff around. Oh, goody, another one. Much better. Ahoy there! Squidward tells me you're looking for the king jellyfish. Yes. Good thing, too. That monster has been stinging all my good customers in their poop decks. I hear that you can find him up top of Old Sport Mountain here. Go hook that beast, sailor! Oh boy, Mr. Krabs. I'll see what I can do. Quite right. Wait as a whistle. Hello, Mrs. Puff. Hello, Patrick. I've got a job for you to do. Oh, boy. I found a golden spatula, but those robots out on the island stole it and threw it into the lake. If you can figure out how to get it back, you're welcome to it. Show sure enough, Mrs. Puff.
That's much better. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy! Well done, Patrick. You're a real star. Can I get a cookie? No. How many of these do I have to carry? Oh, again, again. SpongeBob's underwear fits quite right. Oh. Ouch. Wait, is a whistle. That's much better. Wait, is a whistle. Uh oh, this one goes boom. <laughs> it went boom. Hey, this 
is mine! Oh, don't look down, Patrick. Don't look down. Ah, I look. My back feels better. Ooh, what a present. Quite right. Presents. Like a new sponge. Fresh like a spring breeze.
Gosh, everyone is trying to help out today. Step quietly there. That king jellyfish is just up at the top of this path. Good luck. You'll need it. Thanks, Bubble Buddy. I feel like a new sponge. <laughs> I knew the king jellyfish was big, but who knew he had such a beautiful voice? <laughs> Number one in the Bikini Bottom Scavenger Hunt, three years running. Uh, thank you. Cha-ching! Love opening presents. Boy, Patrick will be glad to have this back. No problem. You can do anything you set your mind and your muscle to. Huh? 
Oh, yeah. Oh, that feels so much better. Anything for my best friend Squidward. Can I rub some on? Um, uh, what if I just gave you this? SpongeBob, this flapping robot crisis is making the Krusty Krab lose money like a sinking ship. No money means no more Krusty Krab. No more Krusty Krab means no more fry cooking for you. <laughs> no more fry cooking? But because you're gullible, I'm gonna help you out. And of course make a small profit in return. I've got a few golden spatulas that I'll be willing to trade to you for some of those shiny objects. So, do you want to trade shiny objects for a golden spatula? That's quality craftsmanship, that is. Come again! <laughs> wow, SpongeBob, you found some! Now they're back home, safe where they belong! Here's your golden back scratcher! Spatula! I don't speak Italian. Downtown Bikini Bottom, once a bustling metropolis, now a debris-covered crater. SpongeBob, the robots are destroying Downtown Bikini Bottom. We have to evacuate! All right, but it's going to take a while to get all this dust. Not vacuum, evacuate! We have to get everyone to safety. Can we just load them up in the boats? That won't do any good. Why not? Because the robots have taken all the steering wheels. Couldn't we just drive in a straight line? No, there are too many turns. Those fiends, they thought of everything. Never fear, Mrs. Puff, I'll get those steering wheels back. SpongeBob, if you're involved, I always fear. But I tell you what, if you can pull this off, I'll give you a golden spatula. How about a driver's license instead? Nice try. One in the Bikini Bottom scavenger hunt, three years running. Thank you. I love opening presents. It shines. Simple button is the most satisfying. Push, 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 push. Ow! I 
feel like a new sponge. needs to do laundry. Up for a game of SpongeBob? door is locked from the inside. Who would do such a thing? Boy, Patrick will be glad to have this back. Up. 
Gary? Meow? Yes, thanks for noticing. I have been working out. Meow. Not done? Doesn't that mean... Meow. Oh, that's the entrance to the rooftops which leads to the lighthouse? Aha! Uh -huh. There's another golden spatula. I could really use that. Meow. What do you mean get Sandy to help me? <sighs> I can get through this. Meow. Meow. Oh, that gap looks big. Okay, I'm definitely not making that jump. How is anyone going to get across there? Uh-oh, more robots. Holy Dutchman's ghost! That gap looks impossible! And impassable! Okay, okay, I'll go get Sandy to help me out. Could use all these.
Larry. What's shaking? Sandy! Boy, am I glad to see you. I need your help. My TV reception has been terrible lately. I need to have someone replace my old antenna with this shiny new one. Yes, sir. That there antenna is shinier than a $3 bill. Well, why don't you replace it yourself? I'm not really much of a jumper. So, what's jumping got to do with it? Because the old antenna is up there. Woo! That's taller than a glass of Texas iced tea. The robots have blocked off that building, and I can't do all those fancy moves you and SpongeBob do to get across these gaps. All I can do is flex! Wanna see? Yeah, great. Uh, so what are you gonna do with the old antenna? Oh, that? It's yours if you replace it with a new one. Well, I have been getting bad TV reception in the tree dome. Okay, Larry, you got a deal. Opening presents. Boy, Patrick will be glad to have this back.
and SpongeBob's underwear. Messing with Texas. Laundry. I love opening presents. like a spring breeze. Take that! Fresh like a spring breeze. Oh, sparkly. Bottom scavenger hunt, three years running. Uh, thank you. Sometimes pushing a simple button is the most satisfying. Push, 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 push. I feel like a new sponge. Oh! 
Ah, there you are, boy! Someone's broken the Sea Needle! That's horrible! The Sea Needle is the cradle of Crochet Corner! Yes, yes it is! But what's more important is that there are tiki's and shiny objects just outside the windows! Mr. Krabs, how can you think of money at a time like this? Easy, I just clear my mind. Money, money, money! Now listen here, boy. You know that I'll give you golden spatulas if you bring me shiny objects. But I'm going to sweeten the deal. If you can break all the tiki's here at the Sea Needle, I'll give you a bonus golden spatula. Why would I want to break the tiki's, Mr. Krabs? Uh, because they were laughing at you and calling you funny names. What kind of funny names? Um, you know, SpongeBob butt pants. That's not very funny. Uh, no. But they said your mom was ugly. Ugly? All right, Mr. Krabs, break to my cell. You've got a deal. Smash all the teeth. <laughs> wow! Everyone looks like ant fish from up here. Everyone looks like ant fish from up here. Tartar sauce! The horror! I feel like a new sponge. You've just met the Sponginator. Like a spring green. The 
ultimate wedgie experience! Smash all the... Work boy, here's the golden spatula like I promised. SpongeBob, <laughs> I'm impressed. How did you fight? Well, there were these robots. I met Sandy, and the lighthouse was... Okay, okay. Sorry I asked. Here's the golden spatula that I promised you. Thanks, Mrs. Puff. Now I'll help you guys evacuate. But, SpongeBob, you don't have a driver's license. Oh, don't I? No, no you don't. Well, if I don't, then what's this? A library card. Oh... I love opening presents. I feel like a new sponge. Fresh like a spring breeze. Bringing it around town.
wrist. Bam! Well, that's all for pretty. Do you want to trade shiny objects for a golden spatula? That's quality craftsmanship, that is. Come again. <laughs> wow, SpongeBob, you found some! Now they're back home, safe where they belong. Here's your golden back scratcher. Spatula. I don't speak Italian. <laughs> ah, Goo Lagoon, a sun drenched beach of sludge at the bottom of the sea. But all is not well here on Paradise. At the Sponginator. It shines! Well, you do look a little red. Barnacles! That darn robot. Robot? Yeah, a big robot stole everybody's sunscreen. Oh no! Everyone will burn, and then they'll get all itchy and peel. Exactly! You can't spend a day at the beach without sunscreen. That sun is way too hot. That robot is out on the island. Nobody can get to him. SpongeBob, maybe you can use those sun reflectors to point the sun's rays on that robot. If you hit one of the buttons on the side of a lifeguard tower, the reflector will turn. Connect all the towers and the light will shoot right out of the big reflector on the island. Then all you have to do is swim out to the island and turn the big reflector onto the robot. I'll stay here <laughs> and protect the babes. But I, uh, can't swim. Somehow I don't think he needs a hand. Take that! Oh, sparkly! I love opening presents. I feel like a new sponge.
like a spring breeze. How many of these do I have to carry? Sure gotta carry a lot of stuff around. Another one. Children's balloons have been overfilled. They're carrying the children out of control. I don't know, Mrs. Puff. It looks like they're having a lot of fun. Yes, too much fun, if you ask me. You can save the children by bubble bashing each of the balloons. Bubble bash all the balloons, then come see me for a reward. Can do, Mrs. Puff. Like a spring breeze. I love opening presents. Patrick needs to do laundry. Uh oh, I can't swim. My hero, you've saved the children. <laughs> Here's a golden spatula as a reward.
feel like a new sponge. SpongeBob, I heard that you were collecting golden spatulas. Yes, Bubble Buddy, I am. Have you seen one? Why, yes. We were having a sandcastle contest, and somebody put a golden spatula on the top. If I had a castle, I'd name it Fort Patty Town the Third, and Fort Patty Town the Third would have a big bake sale every Monday. Um, the golden spatula? Oh, at the top of the sandcastle, right. That should be easy to reach. Well, perhaps you should see for yourself. It shines! I love opening presents. Hey, you! Patrick needs to do laundry.
Hello, Gary. What's new? Hi. You don't say. Squidward bought a new sweater? Oh, he's so crazy! Wow! And there's a golden spatula at the end of this cave! Wow! Patrick will be glad to have this back. Audrey.
been lonely out there all alone? This one goes boom! Sorry, lad, but the carnival is closed. A pesky robot has taken over me ticket booth. And worse, me money. If you help me get rid of that no good robot, I'll give you a big reward. <laughs> this one goes boom! So shiny! <laughs> Mighty gold! I will crush them! Another one. I don't think SpongeBob's underwear fits quite right. <laughs> That's much better. You've been lonely out there all alone. Smoothies! Yummy!
smoothies! Yummy! I have to carry. Here is your reward. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Congratulations, SpongeBob! You're king of the beach! Here, have a golden spatula! Lava 
opening presents. Wow, SpongeBob, you found some! Now they're back home, safe where they belong! Here's your golden back scratcher! Spatula! I don't speak Italian. I have brought you to here to face a great challenge. I've got nerves of steel and muscles of sand. And eyes of jelly. My Poseidon has been breached by a mighty foe whom you must vanquish. Bring it on, your highness. Bring it on. In this corner, defending the Poseidon, a small square guy. <laughs> Murderous robot shaped like a squirrel. Look, it's a giraffe. Uh, I think I need to get home to feed Gary. SpongeBob has an opening, but will he get the drop on the robot? Great Barrier Reef. Looks like the robot's left itself vulnerable. Now the robot's taking a beating out there. SpongeBob has an opening, but will he get the drop on the robot? I wanna play, I wanna play. And if we're not playing, we're fighting for our lives. I wanna play, I wanna play. Oh, all right. The old clothesline move! Oof, looks like hey, Patrick has a big good. opportunity here! What a shocking takedown by Patrick! Robot's losing its head! Oh! Nice flying, uh, head thing move by Patrick! Looks like Patrick has a big opportunity here! Wow! I've never seen such an electrifying oh, oh, match! That was fun. Your turn, SpongeBob! Oh? Uh we Spelling! The old clothesline move! That's a bubble bash opportunity if ever I've seen one. Nice move by SpongeBob. This match is just about over. That's a bubble bash opportunity if ever I've seen one. was quite a battle. Tell him what he's won, Johnny. It's a new power, the Bubble Bowl. But wait, there's more, a golden spatula. And that's not all, a gift certificate for $5.32 to Dean's Little Shop of Dried Fish Flakes and Flowers. Oh, thank you, it all means so much. I, I, I promised myself I wouldn't cry. Cry all you want. But not here. We just wax the floors. Hey.
Hey, Plankton. Yes, what is it? I was just wondering why all the robots seem to be coming from inside the chum bucket. Have they? I really haven't noticed. Uh, yeah. And then there's that big flashing neon sign that says, Robot Headquarters. SpongeBob, I'm your friend, right? No, not really. Exactly, and as your non-friend, I worry about you. Like right now, you're thinking too much. I'm worried you might really hurt yourself. Tell you what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna think for you. This way, you won't hurt yourself. And you can just keep working on getting me into the chum bucket. Thanks, Plankton. You're the best non-friend a friend could have. No more thinking for me. Let me teach you how to bowl a bubble. Press this button and you'll bowl a bubble that can knock down robots from a safe distance. Wow! Remember though, the bubble bowl only works on things that are close to the ground. Got it. Another find for Patrick. Underwear coming through, fresh like a spring breeze. Welcome to the dark depths of Rock Bottom, home of strange creatures and souvenir t shirts. SpongeBob, I'm actually glad you're here. And believe it or not. I'm glad I'm here too, Mrs. Puff. The robots have stolen priceless artwork from the museum. If you can return it all to me, I'll reward you with a golden spatula. Why do you want all that artwork? Don't ask questions you aren't prepared to handle the answer to. Consider the artwork saved, Mrs. Puff. Ching! Opening presents. like a spring breeze. Ah! 
I gotta say, Bubba Buddy, for a bubble, you really get around. SpongeBob, the robots are plundering Rock Bottom's museum, but they've broken the roadway leading up there. You'll have to be clever and find another route to get in. What if I lick all these stamps and mail myself? Could work, but perhaps being sneaky would be faster. Time for a little sleepy sneak. Feel like a new sponge. like a spring Roll, roll, roll the sponge. It shines.
someone better make good use of all these. Messing with Texas. Feeling refreshed. Ooh. Do I really have to carry Patrick's socks? There, Barnacle Boy. Say, warn me if that sponge kid comes back again, okay?
that's all for pretty. Feeling refreshed. for a little sleepy snake. You've just met the Spongeinator. I feel like a new spot. Hey, Gary. You're on an awful long walk, aren't you? The trench of advanced darkness, huh? Sounds dark. Okay, Gary. I'll be extra, extra, extra careful. like a spring breeze. I love opening presents. Oh. 
Plankton, you best not be stirring up no trouble. Nonsense. I only want to help. Help crush you all under my rise to power. What was that? Nothing. Say, see those lasers there? You mean them things that look like fancy washing machines? To your puny brain, I suppose. You'll need to turn on each one of those in order to cross the last part of the Trench of Advanced Darkness. This better not be some kind of trick, Varmint. Elbow grease can't handle. Yeah! Oh! 
you. I can't believe I'm wearing SpongeBob's underwear. Presents. I feel like a new sponge. Last piece of artwork accounted for, Mrs. Puff. I left no strange glowing stone unturned. Well now, nice work, SpongeBob. The museum will finally be able to reopen. And here's your reward. Hey, Mr. Krabs, what are you doing? Well, I could have sworn me I saw a golden spatula here a minute ago, but I think it fell down this slide. Down the slide? It might have broken its leg. I've got to save it. Go, boy, go! Save that poor spatula! like a spring breeze. I feel like a new sponge. Hey, you! Patrick needs to do laundry.
Take that! Oh, sparkly! Opening presents. I feel like a new sponge. Patrick will be glad to have this back. Nice job, SpongeBob! That was some fancy sliding! Thanks. I guess all that pant wax I bought has finally paid off. My heroes! Hit me with a water ball! Hit me, hit me, hit me! Eh, we don't do that stuff anymore, kid. Is that the TV repairman? No, it's that excited sponge kid again. Oh! Uh, are you sure he can't fix the TV? Mermaid Man, twould be my greatest honor to fix your television. Goody! Hey, sponge kid, you really want to help out? Oh boy, would I? Okay then, uh... But lighten up a bit on the enthusiasm, huh? Uh, you're making my bowels act up. Uh, we've got a little problem with some robots down in the Mermelair. Are you sure you're up to this task? Absolutely, Barnacle Boy! Well, go over to the couch to access the Mermelair. We'll meet you down there. Is it pudding night yet? needs to do laundry. Barnacle Boy! Ah! You shouldn't sneak up on Mermaid Man like that. His heart's not so good. Come to think of it, nothing on him is that good anymore. 
Sorry, Mermaid Man. It's just that I'm always so excited to see you two. Standing in your awesome presence gives me the chills of justice. See? I've got goosebumps on my goosebumps on my goosebumps on my goosebumps on my... All right, kid. Knock it off. Just tell us what you want. Well, I really want a new pair of sunglasses. Patrick sat on my old ones. That's not what I meant. <sighs> Actually, it's a good thing you showed up, young sponge of goodness. It is? It is? Yes. A bunch of evil robots have taken over the Mermelair security system. It's up to you to shut it down and stop them! But why him? We're perfectly capable superheroes. Because it's Thursday and we have a whole bunch of doctor's appointments. Ah, fish sticks. I forgot. Go talk to the Mermelair computer in the next room. She'll tell you what to do. I accept this awesome responsibility, Mermaid Man. You won't be disappointed. Shamed, maybe, but not disappointed. To the doctor's office! Away! I love opening presents. It's not just any sponge, it's Super Sponge! Soaking on slime! Take that! There's nothing like the smell of bubbles in the morning. Smells like victory. I'll be glad to have this back. Boing! like a new sponge. <laughs> the Mermelair, secret fortress of the wrinkly superheroes Mermaid Man and Barnacle Boy. Squidward, am I happy to see you? And not just the kind of happy you feel in the front of your knees, but the kind of happy you feel in the back of your elbow. Oh, you'll never believe what's been happening. Yeah, yeah, I've already been briefed by the geriatric duo. Those two old coots sent me in to get updated with the Mermelair computer. But since you're here now, I'll let you do it. It's right over there. 
Oh, look at this place. I mean, police. Would it kill them to lay down a few throw rugs? And all this wasted space? How did those two old fogies make all this? Oh, that's easy. In episode 27, the Mermelair is invaded by the digging monsters of Bermuda, and they... Never mind! Somebody who can throw things! Leave it to us! I'm great at throwing things! All you have to do is pick up a throw fruit and throw it into each of those funnel machines! Throw throw oh, the throw through fruit? No! Throw the throw fruit! Throw the tofu! You might want to be quick about it! I tend to explode! I mean they tend to explode! Sleep. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Hey, I know you. You're that guy. Hmm. We're gonna need a lot more power to activate the hydroacoustic Doppler modulator. Do you think you can handle this? I could see Squidward's house from up here. And he's not wearing any pants. Oh wait, he never wears pants. Now listen up. There are eight cylinders over there. If you throw something at the cylinders, it'll turn around to the power side. Turn all eight cylinders around to the power side and I'll give you a reward. Sorry, what was that? I was watching Squidward. Just start turning those cylinders. So what do I do with this? You need to throw something at a cylinder. We gotta carry a lot of stuff around. Well done. Now there's enough power. What do you need all that power for? Why, my foot bath, of course. Here, have a golden spatula. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy!
I feel like a new sponge. Take that! I love opening presents. It shines! Fresh like a spring breeze! I feel like a new sponge! In order for me to regain control of the security system, you need to press all the override buttons spread throughout the Mermel Air. The first one is here. Press the button! Got it! When you have pressed them all, you should return here to press the master shutdown button. You will be rewarded. Return here! Got it! Are you listening to me? Listening! Got it! <sighs> There's nothing like the smell of bubbles in the morning. It smells like... victory. I see you've made your way down to the deepest recesses of the Mermelair. Wow! Oh, you took the elevator. Uh, how do I get to the top of this room? Wow! You're right. I bet those tunnels will take me up to the top. Good thinking, Gary. Hammer! I get it! You've just met the Spongeinator. Cha-ching! I love opening presents. Fresh 
like a spring breeze. I feel like a new sponge. like a spring breeze. Needs to do laundry. Look, boy, there's gold under that glass. Gold, I say. My eyes are getting sweaty just looking at it. All you have to do is get that great big ball into that there cup. How do I get the ball rolling, Mr. Krabs? You start the process by bubble bowling up this ramp to hit that button. Good luck, SpongeBob. My wallet's counting on you. <sighs> There's nothing like the smell of bubbles in the morning. Smells like victory. a hand. like a new sponge. Well done, SpongeBob. Now, how's about giving old Mr. Krabs that shiny gold? I'll give you promotion. A promotion? Sure. You'll get a whole extra 10 seconds added to your break time. Woo! Twice! 
20 second break! Do I dare? Uh, no, I'm sorry, Mr. Krabs. As enticing as that sounds, I can't give this to you. I need every golden spatula I can get. I understand, boy. I'll just dock 30 seconds from your break time instead. Whoa! That means I have a negative 20 second break. Oh, thanks, Mr. Krabs. Fresh like a spring breeze. I have regained control of the security system. Here is the reward I promised you. You have pressed all the security buttons. Now press the master shutdown button. system has been shut down, and we got a good checkup. Hooray for justice in all its multi-splendor glory! Yeah, well, Justice Boy, you also cut the power to the Mermelayer's BCS. That's Villain Containment System. Is that bad? Does Mermaid Man smell like sour milk? Yes! Yes, I do! Oh, no. It looks like one of the villains is broken free. What's that? An evil doer on the loose? Who is it? Man Ray? The atomic oh, flounder? Oh. The dirty bubble? No, worse than that. He's your arch enemy. Prawn! Prawn! Did someone call? Oh, I thought maybe I was looking at superheroes. But now I see it's just a couple of pieces of gnarled driftwood. <sighs> Prawn! I'll never forgive you, you madman! What did Prawn do? The worst thing you can imagine. He put all of Mermaid Man's white clothes in the washer with a red sock. Everything I own turned pink! Pink! How horrible! Personally, I thought pink made you very pretty. Really? Sure, pretty stupid. <laughs> Yikes. What is that yellow thing? Some kind of mold? I'm not mold, I'm a sponge! There's a cellular difference! A cellular difference! Yeah, yeah, thanks for the lesson, Dr. Science. See you later, Pinky! By the seven seas, Prawn, I shall not rest until you are captured! But first, I shall have to change from my secret identity into Mermaid Man! You don't have a secret identity, you old coot. Maybe you better take care of Prawn while I take care of this. I shall avenge you, Mermaid Man! Fresh like a spring breeze! Like a new sponge. Oh, not the 
again! This is not fair! I got a frozen wedgie for this! Is this the end of Prawn? Prawn is safely locked away again, thanks to you, Frankie. My name's SpongeBob. Here, I found this in my sock drawer, next to a bunch of pink socks. It's another golden spatula. Thank you, Mermaid Man. I shall always live my life by your shining example. Let goodness and kindness... Are you still here? For a game of sponge ball. I love opening presents. Bolo <laughs> Rama. Wow, SpongeBob, you found some. Now they're back home. Here's your gold spat. I don't speak. Wow, Spather! Here's Spat! I don't Bob, I got a treehouse chock full of robots and it's all your fault, so get in there and clean up your miss. Fresh like a spring breeze. All righty then, that's much better. I suppose you'll be needing this more than me. There's nothing like the smell of bubbles in the morning. Smells like victory. How? Sand Mountain, where sea creatures go to enjoy an afternoon of falling down. Squidward, am I glad you're here. I need to borrow your toothbrush again. What? You've used it before? Oh yeah, lots of times. I figured if you didn't know, you wouldn't mind. Fine. What do I care? I'm a wreck anyways. I try and get some exercise to relax from all this robot mess, and now everything is ruined. Because of a toothbrush? No, it's those blasted robots. They've taken over the ski slopes. How can I ski with those ugly things beating everyone up? Listen, SpongeBob, you've got to help me. I'm going to lose my marbles if I don't get some relaxation. 
I found if you keep your marbles in a bag, they don't get lost as often. In fact, I've got mine right here. It's embroidered with this lovely... Forget the marbles! I've got a better idea. If you get rid of the robots at the bottom of every slope for me, I'll give you one of those golden spatulas. Well, I don't know. It's hard to beat the extreme fun of marbles. Okay, okay, I'll give you one for each slope you clear. Now that's a deal. Just met the Sponginator. Hey, you! That would need to do laundry. Another find for Patrick! It shines! Wow! <laughs> you don't say. Well, there must be a way up there. My most favorite friend in the whole world. I found another golden spatula for you. Oh boy! Can I have it? Sure, if you fall down to the bottom of this pit. Isn't there a safer way? It's always safety with you people. Hmm, I suppose you could bungee down. Present.
will be glad to have this back. like a spring breeze. Like a new sponge. <sighs> There's nothing like the smell of bubbles in the morning. Smells like victory. Fresh like a spring breeze. Feel like a new sponge. Fresh like a spring breeze. I love opening presents.
Howdy, Mrs. Puff. Well, if it isn't Sandy Cheeks. Toasted Tiki Texas style. Good riddance. Ew. Can't believe I'm wearing SpongeBob's underwear. down this hill a hundred times, usually rolling. Darn kids think it's funny to push me, but if you can beat my time down the hill, I'll give you a golden spatula. Hey, you! Patrick needs to do laundry. I love opening presents. You've just met the Sponginator. Pushing a simple button is the most satisfying. Push, 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 push. Feel like a new sponge. Congratulations! You pass with flying colors. Better make good use of all these.
Make Patrick happy. Sandy? Howdy, Bubble Buddy. I fly like the wind and float like a sea bee. If you can beat my time down the hill, I'll give you a golden spatula. Fresh! 
like a spring breeze. Feel like a new sponge. scavenger hunt three years running congratulations spongebob you beat my best time here's a spatula
Hey, Sandy! Howdy, Larry! I'm the fastest there is. My time down this slope is unbeatable. I'll give you a golden spatula if you can beat my time. needs to do laundry. I love opening presents. Push, push, push. Fresh like a spring breeze. Congratulations, SpongeBob! You beat my best time! Here's a spatula! Oh, little mate, Patrick. 
Patrick happy. for pretty. Why can't I just have a day off? I can go get my equipment and stay in peace. Actually, I think that Patrick borrowed your equipment. What? Who said he could do that? I did. I figured if you didn't know, you wouldn't mind. Wouldn't mind? Of course I mind. It's only the most expensive skiing equipment you can buy. And what does Patrick want with that stuff anyway? He doesn't even know how to ski. I want the worm now. I'm calling the moving company tomorrow. I'm calling the move. I'm call. I'm calling the moving company tomorrow. Your treasure chest's looking a bit light, boy. Do you think I've got bilge water on the brain? I ain't running a charity here. Come back when you've got enough shiny objects to trade. <laughs> There's nothing like the smell of bubbles in the morning. Smells like... victory. Wow, Spongebob! Father! Here's your... Spatch! I don't speak.
love opening presents. So, do you want to trade shirt? That's quality. <laughs> There's nothing like the smell of bubbles in the morning. Wow, that robot looks like Patrick. And his breath seems just as bad. This day just doesn't seem to be getting any better. SpongeBob, hurry! Squidward's in more trouble than a chili Riano in a pan of grease. We have to help! You're right, Sandy. But if that robot really is like Patrick, he'll eat us for dessert! What should we do? Well, we better figure something out, and pronto! Maybe that button on his back is a self-destruct. I'll try to hit it. Good idea, SpongeBob. But it's time to stop yapping and get to it! Yikes! Looks like SpongeBob's in for a rough ride! Great Barrier Reef! Look at that! The robot's made himself dizzy! And the robot is down! do si do and around you go! Oh, and the robot is down! Now the robot's taking a beating out there! do si do and around you go! Oh, and the robot is down! This squirrel too far! Get ready for a hot fudge twister! Texas style! What is Sandy going to do to get SpongeBob unfrozen? do si do and around you go! Oh, and the robot is down! That's the ticket! That hot goo could melt anything! Great Barrier Reef! Oh, and the robot is down! Cowabunga! And the robot is down! One more douse with that stuff, and SpongeBob will be back in the ring! do si do and around you go! Oh, and the robot is down! That does it! SpongeBob is back in the fight! do si do and around you go! I see a prime bowling moment right here! Oh, better change tactics and fast! Great Barrier Reef! I see a prime bowling moment right here! 
Nice 710 split by SpongeBob. Do si do, and around you go. I see a prime bowling moment right here. Thanks for saving me, guys. I never thought I'd say this, SpongeBob, but I owe you big time. Thanks, Sandy. We'd still be popsicles if it wasn't for her. Aw, oh, shucks. You fellers are gonna make me blush. I think I have fudge in my pants. I'm sorry, Plankton. The Chum Bucket Lab is locked up tight. I don't know if I'll ever get enough golden spatulas to get in. Yes, it's the Chum Bucket Security System. I designed it myself. It makes me so proud. It was meant to keep out the hateful throngs of the unwashed. Unfortunately, I never figured I'd be on this side of it. So what are you gonna do, Plankton? We, of course meaning you, are gonna have to go out there and get those golden spatulas. Or I'll never get back into the chum bucket and regain control of my robots. What was that? Oh, uh, <clears throat> I said, will I ever get back into the chum bucket to stain all my pots? Mmm, something's fishy here. <laughs> Bubble Buddy, I bet the next move you teach me will be the best one ever. Absolutely, SpongeBob. Super pinky shake on it? I would if I had pinkies. Here, I'll blow you some. Yeah, maybe later. Now, pay attention, SpongeBob. This bubble's a doozy. Paying my entire salary in attention. When you're not moving, press this button, and you'll blow a bubble that you can steer as it flies through the air. Wow! Aim carefully, though. You've only got a few seconds of flight time before the bubble pops. I'm a bubble-blowing machine. SpongeBob to Mission Control. Go on to the go. Hey, you! Patrick needs to do laundry. Wow, six pairs of underwear. I am one unbeatable sponge. I feel like a new sponge. Roll, roll, roll the sponge. Say hello to my little bubble friend. Like I should be working. <laughs> Time for a little sleepy sneak. Coming at ya! Ow! Fresh like a spring breeze. Just met the Sponginator.
like a spring breeze. Love opening presents. SpongeBob Division Control, the launch is a go. Patrick will be glad to have this back. I don't think he needs a hand. You've just met the Sponginator. Fresh like a spring breeze. Thank <laughs> you. 
here we are in the kelp forest, an interesting area with many sights to see, for those that don't get hopelessly lost first. like a new sponge. needs to do laundry. Fresh like a spring breeze. Hi, Mrs. Puff. Driving class isn't out here today, is it? Uh, no, SpongeBob. Why, why do you say that? Do you think we'd have class out here just to hide from you? <laughs> How silly. I'm just, uh, gathering twigs for the winter. Yes, that's it. Oh, can I help? I have a merit badge in twig gathering. Actually, you can help with something else. These robots showed up and scared all the students, I mean uh, campers, off into the forest. Before the ranger arrives, someone needs to go out and find them. I'll help you find them, Mrs. Puff. I'm the sponge for the job. Thanks, SpongeBob. I'll make sure to give you a nice reward when you've found all of them. Just my size. Say hello to my little bubble friend. I feel like a new sponge. I love opening presents. Like a spring breeze. I feel like a new sponge.
you've just met the Spongenator. Like a spring breeze. Another find for Patrick. I don't think SpongeBob's underwear fits quite right. a whistle. That's much better. Carry a lot of stuff around. Oh, goody, another one.
This one goes boom! Play as a whistle! Mr. Krabs, what are you doing here? Ahoy, Patrick! I'm trying to return three stone tikis to this pedestal so I can get to the kelp cave across that bridge. There could be customers in there! I saw three tikis scattered around this area, but me old brain couldn't figure out how to get them back up here. Can I try? Sure, why not? I need a good laugh. There's a golden spatula up there for you if you succeed. Oh boy, Mr. Krabs. I'll see what I can do.
robot go boom! So what do I do with this pretty sparkly thingy? Hey kid, I could really use your help if you had some time to spare. Sure, Barnacle Boy, what do you need? I'm trying to recover my lost energy crystals that power my new secret superhero power. It seems the robots have found my supply and have hidden them in this cave. Secret superhero power? Oh, what's it do, what's it do, what's it do? If I told you, it wouldn't be a secret, would it? Just trust me, it's worth finding these crystals. I'd go search it myself, but my bunions are acting up today. Well, then you rest those super bones of yours. I'll get searching for these crystals. Bottom scavenger hunt, three years running. Uh, thank you. Coming at ya! Just met the Sponginator. for a little sleepy sneak. Boy, Patrick will be glad to have this back.
sure gotta carry a lot of stuff around. as a rock. as a rock. Sure gotta carry a lot of stuff around. Hi, Mermaid Man. What are you doing here? Oh, hello, Kyle. I was trying to find some of our missing energy crystals 
when I came across this vine. In my younger days, I held the all-time speed record for vine sliding. You should try it. What a hoot. And if you can beat my best time, I'll give you another of these gold spatulas. Fresh like a spring breeze. Still haven't beaten my record yet. Perseverance is the key! But you're the greatest superhero that ever lived. How could I, a simple sponge, topple your record? Keep trying, youngster! Keep trying! It shines! I love opening presents. you've gotten. I guess you could say I had that course flicked. I guess I owe you a reward. Take this golden spread up. Thanks, Mermaid Man. needs to do laundry. <laughs> Barnacle Boy, I think I found your crystals. Now I can see your secret superpower. All right, stand back. <laughs> oh boy. What happened? I gained the power to trim my nose hairs at super speed. Incredible. Ah, uh, yeah, 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 I guess so. Uh, well then, uh, I need to return to the Mermelair and get back to work. <laughs> but uh, here, take this golden spatula and go away. Of course, Barnacle Boy. I'm always happy to lend my service to my favorite superhero. If you ever run into trouble again, let me know. Yeah, sure, kid. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> and goodbye. Bob, there you are! Thanks to you, all the campers have safely returned! No problem, it's tough. Any self-respecting sponge would gladly help. And it's actually fun exploring the kelp forest! You're not so bad when you aren't behind a wheel, SpongeBob. Thanks again. Always glad to lend a hand, Mrs. Puff. 
I found this golden spatula the other day. Why don't you take it? You've definitely earned it. Wow, Miss Puff, I'll cherish it always. <laughs> Terror in triplicate! He just met the Sponginator. Sponge Mother. Here's your golden statue. I don't sp There's nothing like the smell of bubbles in the morning. Smells like victory. <laughs> roll, roll, roll the sponge. The graveyard of ships. Somewhere among this haunted mess, he fears some spectroids. It's me, Spongebob, sir. I don't need any cookies. But I'm not a shell scout. Look, kid, I'm too disturbed to scare the bejesus out of you right now. Come back later. What's the matter? It's these darn robots. They've thrown me off my own ship, they have. Being thrown off your own ship is like having your pants pulled down in front of casual acquaintances. It's a sad, sad thing. Now those robots have got their own pirate ship, and they're blasting away at each other. Is there anything I can do to make you feel better? Well, now that you mention it, get up to my ship and use cannons to single-handedly defeat the robot ship. Any questions? 
Jones. Is that adorable hat available in a size 3? No, but if you do this, a golden satchel'll be your booty. Now get going! Control the launch of the go. I love opening presents. It shines. <laughs> Take that! Division Control, the launch is a go! Like a spring breeze! Just met the Spongenator.
became a sponge ball. Slippery road ahead. Mission Control, the launch is go! I love open ends. Pushing a simple buff is the most satisfying. Push, 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 push. I feel like a new sponge. Like a spring breeze. Like a new sponge. Ahoy there, Mr. Squidward. Swab the poop deck. Yes, hilarious. Don't you have a platinum whisk to get? That's golden spatula. Whatever. 
There's one up there. You've just met the Spongenator. Hey, Bluey! Too pretty. Can't take it! Coming at ya!
like a new sponge. Just met the Sponginator. Say hello to my little bubble friend. Ahoy there, SpongeBob! Swab the poop deck! Ar aye, 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 aye. Oh, I already did that joke with Squidward, Mr. Krabs. Yes, well, it's a good one though, eh? Oh, sure is! Here's what you need to do. Destroy all the power generators on the robot ship. Once the power is off, you'll be able to shoot the Dutchman's cannons to destroy the robot ship. Cannon do, Mr. Krabs! Spongebob Division Control, the launch is a go. Fresh like a spring breeze.
needs to do laundry. The shinier, the better. Ew. Can't believe I'm wearing SpongeBob's underwear. What a prize, I tell you. Nothing beats creamy, hand-churned butter. Wait just a cotton-picking minute, butter boy. We did all that stuff, and you're backing out like a sea weasel. Sea weasel? Ah, them fighting words. If you want this gold thingy so bad, come and get it. You're on. <laughs> Okay, that's better. Ew. Can't believe I'm wearing SpongeBob's underwear. Ugh. <laughs> 
I'll have you know this jacket has been cleaned twice. Everyone stop fighting. I think I have an idea. Here you go. Oh, it looks like my ship. It's even got all the little mold that flies. How thoughtful. All right, you little rapscallions. Here's the golden spatula. Dreams. What mischief can be found in this sub-aquatic somnambulant realm? Dream bubbles. I'm surrounded by dream bubbles. I wonder what that means. Gary, what are you doing here? Wow. Oh, so I'm dreaming. Well, then first thing I'm going to do is dream myself up a mustache. Wow. Thanks, Gary. It does make me look more rugged, doesn't it? Wow. More tasks? Well, I could use more golden spatulas, but where should I start? Meow, meow. You mean each dream bubble has a golden spatula in it? Meow. I'm ready! Meow. Yes, Gary, I'll be careful. I love opening presents. Tartar sauce! 
Wow, your dream is massive. Everything in Texas is big, even dreams. Then you're just the right person to reach the spatula on top of that golden acorn. My dream, my rules. I'll get that spatula faster than a Texas jackrabbit crossing a four-lane highway. Love opening presents. Be worried there for a bit, boy. Worried for me money, of course. <laughs> Here, take this as your reward. <laughs> so, do you want to trade shiny objects for a golden spatula? That's quality. <laughs> so, that's quality. So, do you want to tr that's qu- <laughs> So, do you that's quality- <laughs> So, do you want that's quality- <laughs> The only good robot is the one that's given me them shiny objects! Tiki Texas style. 
Puts challenges in their own dreams. Squirrels, we're tough like that. Oh, you'll need to be real tough to make this series of swings. I could do it in my sleep. You are asleep. As I said, in my sleep. Well, there's a golden spatula out there for you if you make it far enough. I'll do it so fast, it'll make your head spin faster than a horny toad on a merry-go-round. Why can't I ever just dream normal dreams of world domination? Not as good as Texas barbecue sauce. Buzz off, you little pest. Unless oh. varmint. Off for pretty. happy. Where?
Wow, if anyone was going to make it down this sky slide, it was going to be you! For heaven's sake, boy! Cover your ears! Mr. Krabs? What are you doing in Squidward's dream? Hard time, boy. Or at least it feels like it. Do you think you can make it across this sheet of music to the golden spatula on Squidward's big nose? Don't worry, Mr. Krabs. I'll end this challenge on a... Ugh. Good luck, boy. When you get there, try to wake him up. I'm running out of aspirin.
Robert needs to do laundry. Now, let's hoist anchor and get out of here! Squidward, this is amazing. Amazingly awful, you mean. Mr. Krabs is dreaming of the Krusty Krab. What a surprise. I can't escape work anywhere. Whoa! Lunch rush! I'd better grab my hat and... Forget the hat! Get that spatula and get us out of here! It's like a shiny golden toothpick that holds together the bun of... We don't have time for this! Long as these pants are square and this sponge is Bob, I will not let Bikini Bottom down. There's nothing like the smell of bubbles in the morning. It smells like victory.
slippery boat ahead. Terror in triplicates! Just my size! Like a spring breeze. I feel like a new spot. There's nothing like the smell of bubbles in the morning. It smells like... Like a spring breeze. Solo Rama. Finally! Now we can leave! But first, I need my paycheck. Mr. Krabs! Excuse me! Mr. Krabs! Slippery road ahead. Patrick, you have a golden spatula. Give it here. Not so fast, SpongeBob. You'll have to pass my test before you get this golden spatula. Very well, sir. Challenge accepted. Very well. Your challenge is to find the golden spatula. You're holding it. You did it. Now here is your reward.
want to leave now? Meow. I know it's my dream, but I want you to stay. Meow. Oh, thanks, buddy. Roll, roll, roll the sponge. Wow, SpongeBob, you found some. Now they're back home, safe where they belong. Here's your golden back scratch. Spa I don't speak. They serve food here, yes, but... Flash! Authorities have confirmed that the robots running amok through Bikini Bottom are indeed coming from the Chum Bucket! Yes! Right where you're standing! Plankton, owner of the Chum Bucket, and best known for the creation of robots whose sole purpose is to cause... And then stomp on your children! And stomp on your children's children! This has been a Bikini Bottom News Flash! Rolo Rama! Kabam! Oh, sparkly! Look at that guy! With that big square head and those short shorts! That's the most hideous thing I've ever seen! Wait! That hideous thing looks like me! I always knew SpongeBob would be the death of me! Jump in, jelly beans! A robot SpongeBob! There's definitely something funny going on here. And I don't mean you. Something else funny. Oh! Plankton! You're behind all this, aren't you? Yes, yes, it was me all the time! Behold! The Duplicatotron! I registered the name, so don't even think of ripping me off. With this, I can make a robot copy of anyone. I was going to make an army of loyal robots that would obey my every command. But they're running amok! I, uh, I forgot to set the switch to obey Plankton! Ugh. But now that Daddy's home, I can fix that! What's wrong now? It should be working! It is working! They're obeying me! I knew I shouldn't have made a copy of myself, but I'm just so cute. You've interfered with my plans for the last time. SpongeBob, meet SpongeBob. Hi, how do you do? Allow me to introduce my friends, Patrick, Sandy. Enough! Prepare to meet your doom! My little
Pushing a simple button is the most satisfying. Push, 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 push.
Ninja. Sometimes pushing a simple button is the most satisfying. Push, 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 push. I'm becoming a lawyer. You haven't defeated me yet. I still have lots of robots all over Bikini Bottom. I'll summon them all, and then we'll see. Uh-oh. I'll destroy you. You'll destroy me. I'll destroy you. I'll destroy you twice as hard. Oh, yeah? I'll destroy you plus one. Well, I'll destroy you plus infinity. Shut up, you stupid robot! Who are you calling stupid? I went to community college, you oversized puppy grinder! Oh yeah? I'll show you! Come here and fight like a monster. Well, Plankton, I hope you learned your lesson. Oh, I certainly did! Next time I'll get it right! <laughs> Ouch! We won! Who wants to get ice cream? I do! I do! Need I remind you all that there are still robots out there making a mess of Bikini Bottom? Sandy is right. I thought she was a squirrel. I'm being punished. I don't know for what, but I'm being punished. There's still work to be done out there. Mermaid Man and Barnacle Boy wouldn't stop, and neither will I. We can't rest until Bikini Bottom is safe. They serve food here, yes, but they don't serve love. <sighs> There's nothing like the smell of bubbles in the morning. Smells like victory. <laughs> <laughs> 